Club Express, customizing the look and feel of your website, an overview. Your website is one of the ways that members and non-members view and interact with your organization's content and people. So what you display on your site and how you present the content is important. You want it to reflect your organization's priorities and style. Club Express gives you many tools to create content and also configure the look and feel of your site. This video is a high-level overview of the tools available on the Control Panel's website tab, and there are separate videos that go into the detail of each module. Before we look at the tools, let's take a tour of the areas of your website that you can configure. The position and availability of these areas depends on the template and layout you've chosen and some other factors that we'll get to shortly. There's a page header that typically contains images, text, and links. There's an area where optional items may be displayed, for example, a link called Add Me to Your Mailing List, and there can be icons for your social networks. There's also an area where your members can log in, and once logged in, they can manage their profile and make payments. Below the header is the background that spans the width of the browser and is behind the page content. Menus can be configured to display horizontally across the page or vertically on the left side of the page. The page content area is where your custom pages, documents, events, and other content displays. The footer is at the bottom of the page and has links to Home, Contact Us, Privacy, and other pages. And there are optional areas for common content. These are very useful for important notices and any other content that you want to display on every page. There are some areas, like the one that displays above the header or above the footer, that can be used regardless of layout. And there are some areas that are displayed only when certain layouts are selected. Now that you've seen the environment, let's take a look at the tools. We're already logged into one of our demo sites as an administrator, so we can go to the control panel and click on the website tab. The top section contains functions that are accessed quite often. For the website, this mostly means creating and administering content that the user will view or interact with. There are links that let you control the home page, custom web pages, photo albums, documents, events, frequently asked questions, news and articles, and the storefront. The content created might be available to everyone or just available to members. The center section contains reports about website usage and security. The setup section contains items that are important during the initial setup and most likely don't change very often. Website look and feel is where you control the general appearance of your website. This includes the overall layout of each page, the page header, the width and background, fonts, and also optional common content areas that can appear on every page. The choices you make here are site-wide. When you click on the website look and feel, you're placed into preview mode. This lets you experiment with any of the tools, but only you can see the effects. No one else sees your changes. When you're happy with the preview, you can press the apply button to actually implement your changes to the site or click on revert to exit without making any changes. Let's take a quick look at the tools available in the site editor toolbar. When designing a website, you first start by selecting a template. A template is a predefined collection that includes a layout, which controls menu placement and the number and locational content areas. It contains colors, a design scheme, which controls the appearance of heading elements, and selects a menu style. It's a starting point only. Each of these elements can be individually customized. The Page Tools option controls the appearance of the Page Tools widget on the right side of the website, including the option to hide it completely. The Layout option controls the position of items on the page based on the template you chose. You can also control how many common content boxes your website will have. The Page Header option lets you customize the page header that appears at the top of every page on your website. This includes options to place photos, logos, text, and other elements. The Colors option presents various color schemes. A color scheme is a palette of complementary colors used on various elements of the website. You use the Background option to control the background of your website. 
and this is outside the layout area. You can select from colors or predefined images or graphics or upload your own. The watermark option lets you control the color and texture of a watermark that appears in the background of the website itself, and this is within the layout. The width option lets you control the width of your website and its various elements. Adjusting the width of your site avoids users having to do unnecessary horizontal scrolling. The text style option lets you select custom fonts, styles, and colors for various standard elements on the page. If you've enabled additional fonts in the control panel, they're also available for this option. The design option lets you select the design scheme, which controls the appearance of heading elements. The menu style option lets you select the menu scheme, specifically the appearance of menu elements, including separators and submenus. The custom CSS option allows you to enter custom styles to control the appearance of your website and its various elements. Note that this option is for experienced web designers only. The apply button applies your changes and closes the look and feel site editor. The revert button cancels out of preview mode, reverts to the previous design, and closes the look and feel site editor. Now back to the control panel. Clicking fonts takes you to a screen that allows you to use custom fonts anywhere on your website. This is in addition to the default web safe fonts that normally appear. More than 80 web fonts are available to be used on the home page, custom web pages, event descriptions, and anywhere else that the advanced content editor is used. The common content module allows you to edit content that's common to every page. The website layout you choose in the website look and feel module may have one or more additional content boxes. For example, most templates with a vertically oriented menu on the left side of the page will have a content box for the area under the menu. Whatever is specified in these boxes appears on every page of your website. Or you can use the area above the header to present important, timely information on every page of your site. Although these three links get you to the tools that control most of the look and feel, there are a few other modules that also affect what your users see. The Menus module lets you configure which menu items are shown to the public, or to your members, or to certain member types. Web graphics are graphics that are uploaded as a single resolution file and are used throughout the site in headers, backgrounds, logos, etc. Tags are useful so you and your members can attach descriptive words to your content, making for easier searches. The mobile setup lets you control how your website items are displayed in browsers on mobile devices, such as phones and tablets. Club Express can provide an optional mobile app that's branded for your organization. This will run as an app on the device and has some unique functionalities, such as channels and meetup facilitation. And finally, you can configure several website options that can automatically add links like add me to your mailing list or how did you hear about us to your website. So now you have an idea of the tools that are available for authoring content and configuring the look and feel of your website. Be sure to watch the companion videos that detail how to use each tool. And don't forget that wherever you are or whatever you're doing on the website, you can always click on the page tools widget or help icon to get context sensitive help. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.